We begin in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We sing, I know that my Redeemer lives. Can you tell what this is? A sheep. Yeah, a sheep or a lamb. Do you know anything about sheep? Let's see. Right over there. What do you know? What can you tell me? They're, they're from God. Okay, God created them, sure. What else about sheep or lambs? Oliver. They're fluffy, okay, so they're cute and cuddly, okay. Sure. Um, their meat is called mutton. Okay, their meat is called mutton. What else? They're white or they can be Okay, white, it can be other colors too. Levi? Uh, their fur is called wool. Fur, fur is called wool. Think, think about the, what, what do sheep act like. What do you got? What about sheep? Lamb. All right, Sam? They kind of They wander, okay? They wander. I didn't hear the second part. They wander. What else we got? Okay, they would be used for sacrifice. They're fluffy. Okay. Jonah? Oh, they eat grass. They eat grass. Okay, so we're getting... Um, one more. They are used in parables. They're, yeah, they're used in parables. Uh, let me tell you some things about sheep. Do you know if they end up on their back, they don't have the ability to roll off their own back? They need help? Okay, really. Do you know why Psalm 23 talks about quiet waters? Because sheep get scared if the water is too noisy. They're very easily scared. Do you know also why it needs to be quiet waters? What happens if they go too deep in the water? Can you think of that? Right there. Their fur gets wet and the weight will actually pull it down and drown it. Crazy, right? Let me tell you one more thing. Sheep are very easily distracted and will follow anyone. In fact, I want to tell you just how crazy that is. Back in 2015, so that's eight years ago, in Istanbul, Turkey, one sheep walked over the edge of a cliff. Yeah. Now, do you know what happened? 1,499 other sheep followed it over the cliff. That's not good. Sheep follow, don't they? Sometimes in good ways, sometimes in bad. Kind of crazy, right? Now, I want to ask you, do you know anything about a guy named Stephen? Who's Stephen? Come on, someone's got to know who Stephen is. Is that, is that a knowing look, or you just don't want to say? Well, I don't know. It's a name. It's a name, okay. 
I kind of sort of see a hand. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's the guy that got stoned. What happened before he got stoned? Sam? Um, when he was getting stoned, he was kind of like Jesus and said, Okay. Yeah, he said, please God forgive them. Stephen was one of the men that was chosen to be a leader in the church to wait on tables to free up the apostles' time. He was very gifted And he was a follower of Jesus. In fact, and this is kind of one of those weird things, he followed Jesus even to the point, as we were told, where he was stoned. He was killed. He walked over the cliff, didn't he? He followed. And even to the point where he said, God, please forgive the very people that are killing me. Wow. Sometimes we think uh, we have a hard time forgiving someone for tripping you or making fun of you. Would you have a hard time forgiving someone who's killing you? <laughs> and yet, and yet, this is the power of God's forgiveness for us. This is the power of the resurrection because God promises us there's a home waiting for us in heaven. And as we really grab hold of that truth and believe it, that has a huge change and impact on our lives right now. Too often we try to forgive someone, well, I think you're sorry, so I'll forgive you. Instead of recognizing I am completely undeserving of God's forgiveness, and yet He forgives me, And you are completely undeserving of my forgiveness, and yet I will forgive you. That's why Stephen forgave the people that were killing him. That's why Stephen walked to his death, so to speak, followed his shepherd, even when it caused pain, because God had promised him and us something far, far greater Now, we live in a wonderful country where we're not often asked to do that. But can you think of some other hard things that we're kind of asked to do sometimes for our faith? Just listening to your parents, man, that can be hard. We should probably throw teachers in there too. What do you think? Listening to your teachers can be hard. Ugh. Others, what are some hard things? Sometimes maybe you know you should do, but don't want to. Sometimes you just don't want to go to church. You're too tired. Yeah, that, that's a real thing. Sometimes you're too tired or just don't want to, even though you know it's good. Yeah. Anything else? Sam again? So listening to your parents again, if your mom makes cookies and you want, really want to eat one, okay. Yeah, listening to your parents is a repeating thing. It's hard. Yeah. Listening to God. Listening to God. How about let's just say be nice to other people. Sometimes we're, trying, we're nice to those who are nice to us. Have you ever thought about being nice to someone that's mean to you? Ooh, those are hard things. And yet, again, we can't do those things on our own but only through faith in Jesus, who has really paid the ultimate price for us. And what gives us strength is he was raised to life again. That's what gave Stephen strength. And so as Jesus' sheep, we follow him. Amen. Let's fold our hands and pray. Good shepherd, thank you for making us your sheep. Forgive our failures to follow you perfectly. Help us take advantage of opportunities to imitate you in all that we say and do. Amen. We sing, I am Jesus, little lamb.
we read a portion of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He, he restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And we join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, children, go in peace, live in harmony with one another, serve the Lord with gladness. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you.